all the hot air balloons in front of us. We're going to try and see him take off. Okay, it's half past five. And we're up early to make sure we can catch the sunrise with the hot air balloons. Um, there was a bit of a hold up with the driver. We don't know if he's on his way yet, but hopefully he is. It's something we've been waiting for for years to do, so I'm hoping it all goes to plan. We're here, you probably can't see our faces. Um, it's really loud, but there's all the hot air balloons in front of us. We're gonna try and see them take off, then we're gonna watch them fly over the city. Well, we are surrounded by them, literally we're only here a few minutes ago. Now they're all starting to go off. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Starting to take off. So, and the sunrise, as you can see, is happening. It's happening fast. So, uh, we're gonna try and go to the point to watch them all over the valley. And uh, let's hope it goes to plan. When we got back into the car to the lookout point, I started to get really nervous. And this was made worse by the fact it wasn't as private as I'd hoped. I wasn't sure if I'd find the right place to do it. But in fact, there was no other better place to do it. For those who don't know, me and Kay have been together for five years and traveling has been such a big part of our relationship. Only three months after we met, we booked a road trip around California. And since then, we've traveled as much as we could. We've been blessed to visit so many amazing places, but there was simply nowhere as beautiful as this. So I just packed up the courage, put the camera down, and went for it. Take me back to when we were kids and didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was us. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have my time to waste on trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. Congratulations, Larry Gay! Yeah, I've no money, so probably not for a while yet. That's okay, but it's really <laughs> exciting. <laughs> I know you're ill, but you'll be yeah, so ill. <laughs> I feel horrible. <laughs> Are you feeling? Yeah, good. I'm, I'm, glad, that, I'm glad that there was privacy. I don't think you even said yeah. Huh? I, I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just started crying immediately. You show us the ring. It's beautiful. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> Just gonna keep recording now. Yeah, no. Anything else you want to say? No, it's mission accomplished. Isn't it? what viewpoint we've come to. I'll try and get up on the map um, just here. We pick, we've got to find a taxi to do it. It seemed like quite a lot of people do it. If you're afraid of heights as well like Kate was, this is equally <laughs> I genuinely as think amazing. you would get better pictures on the ground of the balloons than being in one. Yeah, so do Obviously I. Obviously you get the experience. Because they're actually quite crammed in. It looks quite claustrophobic, I'm yeah. not going to lie. <laughs> it's like you don't, you, you expect to be on the edge all the time, but you're not necessarily going to be on the edge. It's like two rows of people. So it's worth considering if you're thinking of doing it. I'm starting to grow old And I thought my youth would last forever Take me back to when we were kids And didn't care if we were acting stupid Cause all we had was us Okay, we've got to the top of our hotel And nobody's here So we're just going to take in the views and some of the balloons that are still 
remain. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. So we've come to Pigeon Valley. Um, it's a really nice lookout point. And we're just here for a little bit to take as many nice photos as we can. I'm not really sure what Pigeon Valley is. You see a few of the cave houses, but yeah, it's nice. So we've been told that this just in front of us just here was some kind of like lookout point or fortress. The little homes that you can see are ancient homes like from thousands of years ago, which is really, really cool. And we're going to try and see how close we can get to one of these ancient homes. Turn off the phone, I will listen to you. You lay in the sea. Yeah, but I'm not thinking. All right. I'm in. Oh wow, this is cool. Is it? Yeah, there's a little staircase you can go down there. Oh wow, there's another oh. floor. There's a little staircase down that one. It's mad, there's still some people that like live in these caves as well. I mean, it's super cool, but obviously they're looking for money to let you go in, but still it's cool. You hold on to me like I'm all right. So we're at the Greme Open Air Museum, uh, which is essentially full of loads of different ancient churches. Most of them are around 1,000 years old. Unfortunately, I can't take pictures or videos inside, probably to protect the sort of the paintings. So I'll just have to put some pictures of what it looks like inside for you right now. It, it's about 150 lira to get in. It's, so far it's really worth it. And you can kind of see some of the paintings that we're missing out on up here. Just there. Um, some of the pictures probably don't do it justice. It's something you just really have to come and um, experience for yourself. Let's carry on. Whisper your words like secrets written in an old mosque. Look up above, the sunlight seems like it is gonna break in. So that was quite cool. I managed to sneak in a little bit of a video because no one was looking. And we went into another church. Yeah, St. Basil's Chapel was the remains um, of a Roman Christian soldier. There were a couple of them uh, buried there, and their bones are still there. Um, it's pretty pretty incredible. But that is most of the open air museum. Um, I'm not sure what the rest of the plan is for the day. I think we're just going to go into Grome again for some lunch and then we'll see what else we have in store. Yeah, something may rain. Oh, something may rain. Something may rain. Okay, that's the end of the day. It's been a very, very long day. Obviously, we got engaged this morning. Um, then we went all around other valleys within Cappadocia. Um, and then towards the end of the day, we went to like a pottery making, tile making place, workshop. Uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, and then we went to a carpet shop um, to see how they worked and how they got all the materials. It was actually really, really interesting. Obviously, we're not rich, so we couldn't afford any of it. Um, but it was still really, really cool. Uh, but we're just going to end the video here and we're going to pick up tomorrow as we do a 10 hour drive back to Istanbul. But on the way, we're going to stop at some really, really cool spots. Uh, we go to a salt lake and we'll also go back to the spot where we were engaged as well. So catch you on the next one. On a salt lake. Okay, so here we are in the system dusty. Um, but this whole place is lit up 